Your luck, Minister. The waiting time for driving tests is totally unacceptable. I know you have acknowledged this and you have also acknowledged that the RSA were brought before the Oireachtas Committee in September and that now there's an expectation to see improvement. But I would ask for them to be brought back in if there's not improvements in the next couple of months, because you know there is a service level agreement. We're not getting a service fit for purpose. I know that I have many constituents, particularly young people, who want to work, who have to get to work, who can't take up apprenticeships because they haven't got a, their driving test um, yet or a date for it. And it's just totally unacceptable. And it, you know it's still bedlam, uh, despite the, the small improvements. It's not good enough. It doesn't cut it. They're way behind what they should be behind. And I mean, if you look at the RSA, it's been paid millions of euro. I mean, we're talking tens of millions of euro. And we're not getting a service that's fit for purpose. So I would look for the RSA to be monitored and brought back in before the Transport Committee and show us the improvements that have been made. And I would ask for that to be done in the new year. I think that would be a reasonable time frame. I, I also feel, Minister, that there's a clear value for money issue. Uh, in terms of this statutory state agency not being able to fulfil some of the most basic requirements related to its operation. And obviously the, the learning, the waiting times for, for drivers are, are part of this. But this impacts rural learner drivers at a disproportionate level because as we all know, we don't have the luxury of public transport outside our doors. And it's non-existent in many areas. Cars and access to cars are not just a necessity for most people. They are a key factor in maintaining economic, educational and social well-being. It is entirely unacceptable that, as our motion states, the number of eligible learner drivers awaiting an invitation to book their driving tests has increased by 61% over the past year reaching a total of 71,554 individuals, and that's up from 44,545 in October 2022. I also want to address one of the other issues that we have identified, and that relates to the need to maintain a service that can be accessed or assessed by cash. Just yesterday, I had a constituent contact me to say that the National Driver Learning Service, NDLS, are not accepting cash as a form of payment. My constituent made the very valid point that although the NDLS list alternative forms of payment, only one of these is accessible using cash, and this is what she termed a bogus method. And I believe that needs to be investigated by the Oireachtas Committee again. As I understand it, the NDLS claim that pay zone vouchers can be used, but the pay zone website itself does not list one site that they can actually be purchased from. Now that's misleading the public, and it's unacceptable for a state service or state agency to do that. That's been funded by the taxpayer. Uh, from my constituent, and I know from, from her account, she tried three different pay zone centres in Tullamore just yesterday. And just in the case, uh, the website was not giving the correct information. And, and that's what it looks like, Minister. And I'd ask you to follow up and investigate what's going on there. We know that the NCTs, uh, NCTs were recently directed to continue offering a cash service, but the same now must happen with NDLS. And we, do, we, we need to check out what's happening in terms of their pay zone and in terms of, of what they're saying there on their website. And I would ask for that to be done immediately. Gareth Margot.